Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Akash Biology. In this particular video, we are going to talk about one of the most important topics of the reproductive biology that is the menstrual cycles. So what actually is menstrual cycle? It is defined as the cyclic event that occurs during the reproductive age of the woman. That is being visibly, visibly manifested as the uterine bleeding due to the shedding of the endometrium. And it is being interpreted by the invisible role of the hormones which hormones that is from the hypothalamus to the anterior pituitary to the ovarian so what actually is, men is menstrual cycle it is visible manifestation of manifestations of uterine bleeding uterine bleeding uterine bleeding during the reproductive age what reproductive age of woman Woman due to what role of hormones what role of hormones and which hormones means first of all the hypothalamus hypothalamus will act on the anterior pituitary anterior pituitary and anterior pituitary will act on the ovary what ovary so these are the role plays that is being being played in the menstrual cycle so for the means to occur or the for the periods to occur the three things are most be so this axis that is the hypothalamus anterior pituitary ovarian cycle must be coordinated second thing is this cycle must act on the ovary to act what this will act on the ovary must be coordinated and it is being followed by that the out so the pathway or the orifice through which the blood will sit must be patent means the the orifice or the vaginal orifice through which the blood will pass should be patent. Orifice should be patent. Should be patent. So if we gonna see the structure of the uterus, it will be like this. So this is the fundus. So fundus is the part, this is the fallopian tube. And the fallopian tube will end as the infantry blood on the both the sides. And this is the ovary. And this is the part of the fundus and this part is the uterus and this part will what the anatomical internal os then comes the external histological internal os and this part is known as isthmus then comes the external os that is this part is the cervix and below this there is the what vagina means vagina vagina so you can also assume me as what the uterus so this part is the fundus, this part are the fallopian tube and my hand is emerging like as infundibulum and below which this is the ovary. Now what happens, so in order to know about the cycle of primordial fall, up to the primordial follicle, you can see my videos on what the oogenesis. Now I'll be dealing the later on what actually happens when the child is being born with the primary ovum. So if we see the structure of ovary and the the first time when the menstrual's menstruation occur that is known as what main arc what main arc main arc is the stage when the menstrual cycle starts in the woman and it occurs from it is from the age of 11 to 15 with the main age of 13 years and it will and these cycles will repeat every month 28 to 35 days 21 to 35 days with the mean of 28 days and it will persist until the menopause will take what the menopause will occur so menopause is at the age of 45 to 51 years where the menstrual cycle ceases but the menstrual cycle do not occur means it will cease to occur at this stage now in every month the bleeding phase or the means occur for only four to five days that is manifested as a bleeding but there's a huge cycle in order to remember why this bleeding will occur and how this bleeding will stop. So that the means that is manifested that we see occurs only for what? Four to five days. And in this what happens? 20 to 80 ml of blood is being lost. Blood is lost. And mainly what? With the average of 35 ml of blood. And the blood that is being lost or the menstrual blood that is being man that we see is not only the fresh blood. It is what the dark altered blood what? Dark altered blood. 
blood and it is being along with the what vaginal epithelium vaginal epithelium and the stratum functionalis part of endometrium that i will dealing later endometrial lining and along with it is the what uh, prostaglandins prostaglandins and enzymes so these are the things now in order to menstruation to occur there are various changes that needs to be coordinated first of all in the ovary second one is in the uterus third one is in the cervix fourth one is the in the vagina so in this particular video we will gonna talk about the changes that occurs in the ovary what that will occur in the ovary so the cycle that occurs in the ovary is being so ovarian changes what ovarian changes and it can manifest at the two phase first of all the follicular and second one is the luteal phase honey ko matlab you menstrual cycle hona lagi various changes hunu parne first of all ovary ma uterus ma cervix ma ra vagina ma sabai simultaneously huncha tara padda keri hami first of all ke ko bare ma padne ta ovarian changes ma kasari huncha so first of all we will gonna see the structure of ovary this is the rough estimated structure so the outer part of ovary is known as ovarian cortex that is being filled with the what the ovum what ovum and the middle part is known as what medulla that is the filled with the stroma and the connective tissue what connective tissue outer part is the cortex that is being filled with the ovum or the primary follicles now after birth we will talking about after birth after birth what happens so after birth now we will talking about the what the cortex part talking about the cortex so cortex what there is what ovum what ovum now this ovum has a large nucleus and this ovum is immature at the time of what at the time of birth until the puberty now it needs nutrition that's why the cell from the what medulla will migrate into the towards the ovary now it will line it by a single layer and these cells are known as what follicular cells what these cells are known as what follicular cells follicular cells and this is known as what ovarian follicle what ovarian follicle or the primordial follicle primordial follicle now in the primordial follicle now what the girl is being hit with the puberty and in puberty the secretions of various things are being increased so in this follicular phase what happens that is after puberty in the puberty the hypothalamus hypothalamus will secrete gnrs or gonadotropin releasing hormone it will act on the anterior pituitary to what release fsh and the lh now first of all the fsh will be secreted in larger quantity with respect to the lh now what does the fsh will do that is with the onset of puberty what this is the ovary ovary again the from cortex so from medulla it will tends to migrate more and more cells towards the cortex now the follicular cells will form more and more layer like this so it will form so this is what this is the ovary or the ovum now the ovum will be surrounded by three or four layers of gran this cells follicular cells three and four layers of the granulosa cells now these cells are known as follicular cells are known as what granulosa cells what granulosa cells at the same time in between the in between the ovum and the granulosa cells a new member membrane will be developed what a new membrane will be developed and this glycoprotein membrane is known as what zona pellucida what zona pellucida it is glycoproteinous in nature similarly now there is a cell membrane of ovary and the cell membrane of the ovum is known as vitelline membrane what the cell membrane of ovum is known as what vitelline membrane vitelline membrane and the space between the vitelline membrane and the zona pellucida is known as what the perivitelline space what the perivitelline space that is contained with the second second polar body now this stage is known as what the 
graphene follicle what the graphene follicle at the same time the fss causes leads what more and more cells to again migrate towards the migrate towards the what the granulosa cells now what happens these granular cells will develop like this so this is what the ovum with a nucleus let's say this is three four layers of granulosa three four layers now it will cause more and more cells of the stroma to come what more and more cells of the stroma to come over here now the cells of a stroma will arrange itself in two layers what will arrange itself in two layers so we can see the blue color is inner layer outside this is the outer layer so these cells are known as theca the cells from the stroma that will migrate outside the granulosa cell is known as theca so the inside is the theca interna which is hormone endocrine function outside is the theca externa that is vascular that has intense vascularity now the theca interna is reproductive in functions and it has the function of secreting estrogen estrogen and the progesterone later on not now progesterone and the theca externa has intense vascularity means more and more blood vessels blood vessels so what we can see up to this level this is known as what again the graphene follicle now the fsh secretions is been increasing more and more so these granulosa cells will secrete a fluid what the granulosa cells will secrete fluid and this fluid will accumulate now it will create an antrum what it will create an antrum like this so it will create an antrum like this this is the follicle what and this will is the what gap and these all are the what granulosa cells and the stromal cells what stromal cells this is the antrum and this antrum contains what follicular fluid what follicular fluid and it is contained with the estrogen what estrogen so the secretions of the follicular fluid is estrogen and is secreted by what the granulosa cells now the mass of granulosa cells that is over here is known as what the cumulus ophoricus what cumulus ophoricus and the mass of cells that is present that attaches it to the wall of the ovary is known as what the discus prolegerus what discus prolegerus now this is known as what vesicular follicle what vesicular follicle now the thing that we need to know as the, the vesicular follicles is formed now the granulosa cells will increase more and more fsh receptors what more and more fsh receptors so that the anterior pituitary will what cause more and more fsh secretion to develop now the estrogen and the fsh will act synergistically together to have more and more receptors of lh on this so up to the stage of vesicular follicle the thing that has act is the fsh now estrogen now after this the more and more what which follicle which of the receptor will be increased that is the lh ak theri banau bhane yaha estrogen secret bhayo now estrogen le ke bancha interpituitary like man asle aphno ma more and more fsh receptor banayo ab fsh receptor bani sake pachi anterior pituitary le jhan badi fsh nikalyo now yo estrogen ra fsh ni milera yahan lh receptor nikalcha what lh receptor nikalyo ab now this lh receptor will cause anterior pituitary to cause more and more lh surge to become yani lh secretion will bond sa now comes what so there is what 28 days of what menstrual cycle that i have told you and the 14 day is known as what the ovulation day what ovulation day means the ovum is shed from this follicle so before two days before the ovulations what two days before ovulations the lh surge will rise what lh surge will rise and the exact cause of that is not known and the thing that i have forgot to tell you that fsh causes nearly 2 to 12 primary follicles to develop but only one will develop because as the estrogen is being developed from this so it will lead what other 
other uh, follicles to be suppressed and only one follicle to be developed now before the two days with what LH surge will rise not 16 times but LH surge will rise 16 times now this causes what the theca externa what theca externa to activate its lysosomes what activate is lysosomes and this lysosome will cause the lysis of that membrane and uh, with the lysis of that membrane more and more plasma will be oozing into the surface causes the swelling of the follicle at the same time it changes the estrogen producing granular cells into progesterone secreting what progesterone secreting so that more and more progesterone will be secreting leading to the decrease in estrogen level so nearly one day to six hours before the menstruation which of the following level hormone level will rise will degrade it that is the estrogen level what uh, what another thing that it will do it will cause it that <coughs> this is about the lh now again the cells develop the thing that hmm. now it will cause more and more swelling of the follicle now if we see this is the what ovary and this is the what follicle now the follicle will be oozing out so it will develop a nipple like nipple like projection that projection known as stigma what stigma and this is the old ovum now ovum tries to what burst out from this now it will be busted out this and this process of seeding of the ovum is known as what ovulation what ovulations so the development of ovum is caused by FSH but the ovulation is caused by what LH now what happens after the ovulation what what happens after the ovulations so again coming on to the part of uterus so this is the ovum now the ovary is being seed so it will stay there then it will go and attach to the endometrium of uterus at the same time the granulosa cells will be left out and these granulosa cells is known as what corpus luteum what corpus luteum luteum first of all the corpus as the what happens the ovum is being set so the blood vessels that are present on theca externa will rupture and cause bleeding in the uh, in this granulosa cells that is known as corpus hemorrhagica then after that it will be changing into the corpus luteum what is the cor function of corpus luteum the function of corpus luteum is to produce progesterone in a more level with respect to estrogen because the lh has changed the gynosa cells to form progesterone secreting cells though it will secrete a very small amount of estrogen now the corpus luteum has four phases first of all the what the phase of multiplication then phase of vascularity phase of maturation and phase of regression so first of all in the phase of multiplication what happens the granular cells that is present on the surface or that is present in the corpus luteum will increase in size that is it will hypertrophy it but without multiplications what the cells will be hypertrophied at the same time more and more vascularity will be developed in this with the fibrin molecules so inside this cavity more and more lymphatics and blood vessels will develop at the same time though ovum will be attached to the endometrial lining that you are dealing later on the endometrial cycle and the nutrition is being provided by the signal or the paracrine signal of the progesterone that is being signaled by the corpus luteum it tells the endometrium to give nutrition to the ovum that is being attached over here now this pro this will stay for what about 12 days what 12 days and it waits for the sperm to come and to have fertilizations but if the sperm will not come what happens so again i will leave the stage of vascular now stage of maturations in the stage of maturation the cells will become yellow laden particles due to the deposition of carotene so the yellow color of the corpus luteum is not due to the fat cells it is due to the carotene carotene that is often known as casein carotene now at last the sperm has not came so what happens it will go in the phase of regression and the first and foremost sign of regression is the deposition of fat cells into the corpus luteum similarly the formation of large vacuoles and the presence of hyaline septa in between the cells again the sperm will not 
from then it will regress but it will no more produce progesterone now it will not be getting nutrition so it will be shed along with the endometrial lining so menstrual is being manifested and it will be changed into the corpus albicans what corpus became be changed into corpus albicans and the corpus albicans will later change into corpus atresia what corpus atresia so this video is all about the ovarian changes that occurs in menstrual cycles in my next video i'll be dealing about the uterine changes that is the secretory proliferative phase secretory phase luteal phase and then cervical changes and the vaginal changes if this video is helpful to you then please like and for more just tap the subscribe buttons and if you have any topics to be made in my next video then you can comment on my youtube channel thank you